Initially, the bond between Katie and her newly adopted dog, Bailey, seemed typical. However, as their connection grew, David, Katie's husband, began to notice odd behaviors that piqued his curiosity. Particularly, he found it strange that Bailey always followed Katie into the bathroom, determined to solve this mystery. David decided to use the security app he had installed on his phone to monitor the situation next time Katie went with Bailey to the bathroom. What he discovered through the app would shock him and potentially change the dynamics of their marriage forever. David Nock had enthusiastically supported Katie's wish to get a dog. With his long hours at the office, he knew that Katie often felt lonely at home. He thought a pet would provide her with some much-needed companionship, although the couple, both 29 and living in Atlanta, Georgia, were not yet ready to start a family. Their home felt incomplete without the presence of a pet. Making Bailey, a one-year-old Australian shepherd, the perfect addition to their household, Bailey was intelligent and devoted, quickly becoming an indispensable part of Katie's life. David was comforted knowing that Katie had Bailey's company during his late work nights, and her evident joy brought him happiness as well. Yet, he couldn't shake off a nagging sense of unease as he observed the constant companionship between Katie and Bailey. Wondering if it was normal to feel a twinge of jealousy towards a dog, David worked as an accounting consultant, pouring numerous hours into his job to provide Katie with the comfortable life she deserved. He cherished her deeply, and the highlight of his day was returning home to see her smiling face. Katie's affection for David was profound. She consistently prepared dinner for him and treasured their moments together. David, however, didn't fully realize everything that happened at home during his work hours. After months of dedication, he earned a promotion that not only advanced his career but also decreased his workload by assigning him to a larger consulting team. Overjoyed by this development, he decided to surprise Katie by arriving home early to celebrate their shared success. After several months of hard work, David received a promotion that allowed him to join a consulting team with more staff. Reducing his hours significantly, ecstatic, he planned to surprise Katie by coming home early to celebrate the good news together. However, he could never have anticipated the chain of events that this disruption to Katie's routine would trigger. As David entered their home quietly, eager to surprise Katie, he hoped that Bailey wouldn't give away his early arrival, but as he moved silently through the house, it seemed unusually quiet prompting him to investigate further with the aid of his security app, leading him to a discovery that would challenge everything he thought he knew about their seemingly perfect life. Doorbell was wrong. This new system provided a live feed accessible via his smartphone, giving him peace of mind about Katie's safety while he was at work. Initially, David felt reassured returning home to find Katie seemingly more relaxed with the added security, yet, he couldn't shake off the nagging suspicion about the mysterious voice he had heard that first day. The memory of Katie's panicked look in her faint, trembling voice continued to haunt him. One evening, as he was leaving work, he decided to check the live feed from the new camera. As he watched, he saw Katie entering the house, followed shortly after by what seemed like her talking to someone, though no one else was visible, perplexed. David hurried home, the scene replaying in his mind. Upon arrival, he found Katie in the kitchen, looking unusually calm. How was your day? He asked, trying to sound casual but watching her closely for any sign of the anxiety that had been plaguing her recently. It was fine, just the usual, she replied, with a hint of forced cheerfulness. But as she spoke, David noticed the bathroom door slightly ajar with Bailey peeking out. The sight stirred his earlier concerns. Katie, are you sure you're okay? You seem a bit off these days, David pressed. Hoping she would open up about whatever was troubling her, Katie hesitated, her eyes darting towards the bathroom before meeting his gaze. Honestly, I've been feeling a bit uneasy, she admitted. Sometimes, I feel like I'm not alone, even when it's just Bailey and me. That's why I keep him with me, even in the bathroom. He makes me feel safer, David listened, his mind racing with questions about her feelings of unease. Have you felt threatened here before? He inquired gently. Trying to understand the root of her fears. Not exactly threatened. Just, watched, Katie confessed, 
her voice dropping to a whisper. That's why your new promotion and your early arrivals have been so comforting. Determined to get to the bottom of this, David suggested, maybe we should consider setting up more comprehensive security measures around the house. Cameras inside might help you feel more secure when I'm not here, Katie nodded, looking relieved at the suggestion. I think that would help a lot, she agreed. Over the next few weeks, they installed interior cameras and upgraded their alarm system. As Katie's sense of security increased, so did her spirits. David noticed a marked improvement in her demeanor. She was more present and engaged, and the anxious tension that had once clouded her features seemed to dissipate. Though the voice remained a mystery, the enhanced security brought peace to their home. David's early arrivals and the presence of the cameras seemed to have calmed Katie's fears, allowing them both to settle into a more comfortable and secure routine. David, hoping to provide an extra layer of security and peace of mind for Katie, had recently decided to install cameras around their home. This way, Katie could monitor any unexpected visitors, possibly making her feel safer. However, this decision only seemed to amplify David's existing concerns and add to his confusion. The next day, while David was at work, his phone alerted him that their front door had opened. Quickly logging into the camera system, he saw Katie leaving with their dog Bailey, leash in hand. David initially felt a wave of relief, assuming Katie was simply taking Bailey out for a walk. It was only when several hours had gone by without another alert, signaling her return, that he began to worry, initially dismissing the first long absence as perhaps a day filled with errands. David's unease grew as Katie's extended outings during her work hours became a recurring pattern. Where could she be going for such long stretches of the day, resolved not to be misled? David decided to confront Katie that very evening, waiting for her to come out of the bathroom, with Bailey loyally by her side. David asked pointedly, Who are you speaking to in there? Katie, sitting on their bed, looked up guiltily and responded, Haven't we already gone over this? It's just Bailey I was talking to. Her tone, laced with agitation, set off alarm bells for David. Her defensiveness seemed more alarming by the minute and it dawned on him that her silence might not be evasion but rather a sign of her escalating frustration. Oh, so you're keeping tabs on me now, she snapped back angrily. David was taken aback to find himself being reprimanded when he believed that it was Katie who was acting suspiciously, feeling deeply hurt by the exchange. David stormed out of the bedroom, his emotions, a mix of hurt and suspicion, fueled his resolve to discover what Katie was hiding in the bathroom. Could his suspicions be correct? That night, he slept on the sofa and left for work the next morning without exchanging words with Katie. Throughout his workday, David's thoughts were preoccupied with doubts about Katie, and he crafted a plan. On his way home, he stopped at a security shop and picked up a compact surveillance camera, small enough to be discreetly installed. That night, once he was sure Katie was asleep, David quietly positioned the camera in the bathroom, from his strategic hiding spot. He would be able to see and hear everything, even over the noise of running water. The following evening, with the tension still evident between them, David watched anxiously as Katie and Bailey entered the bathroom. He was determined to uncover the truth, whatever it might be, as they closed the door behind them. David initiated the surveillance application linked to the camera system. His hands shook as he gripped the device, his gaze fixed on the unfolding scenes that seemed to pull his world apart. Initially, the live feed presented a mundane view of their home. Katie casually placed her phone on the kitchen counter before stepping into the shower. Nearby, Bailey, their dog, curled up, a vigilant companion. Moments later, Bailey approached the shower. Responding to Katie's distress with a soft whimper, towel, Bailey, Katie's voice echoed, slightly muffled by the bathroom acoustics. The intelligent dog promptly fetched a towel and handed it to her. David watched, puzzled and tense, as Bailey then retrieved an item from the counter, right where Katie had left her phone. David's mind raced. Was Katie making a secret of call? His heart skipped when he identified the object. It was an orange pill bottle. Good boy, Bailey, can you get my water? Katie's voice was calm 
a stark contrast to the storm of emotions David felt, the faithful dog fetched a bottle of water, and as Katie took her medication, Bailey nestled into her lap, David noticed her body tense up, a sign he had previously misinterpreted as anxiety about her physical safety, he realized that Bailey's role was not just companionship but also crucial support. His initial suspicions of infidelity melted into a wave of guilt as he recognized that Katie was battling personal health issues, not betraying their marriage. His jealousy morphed into concern. Was she dealing with a serious illness? Why had she chosen to keep her struggles a secret? David's thoughts were interrupted when Katie emerged from the bathroom, visibly fragile. He quickly stood to support her, intuitively understanding that she realized he had uncovered something significant. Despite knowing him well, she was aware that he had only grasped a fragment of the entire truth. He gently led her to the bed, where they sat hand in hand in silent solidarity, waiting for her to break the silence. I have a chronic illness, she confessed softly. Bailey is my service dog. He keeps me safe. That's why he's always by my side. She continued, her voice steady but filled with an underlying strain. David inhaled deeply. His previous jealousy now seeming misplaced and trivial compared to the reality of her condition, it's called postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, Katie elaborated, my heart rate spikes dangerously when I change from sitting or lying down to standing, or if I stand for too long, Bailey helps me manage these sudden changes, as Katie shared the complexities of her daily struggles. David felt an overwhelming mix of relief and sorrow, relief that his fears of infidelity were unfounded, and sorrow for the unseen battles his wife faced every day. They remained sitting together, a newfound understanding dawning between them as they navigated this challenging revelation together. Katie explained that Bailey, her service dog, was trained to detect when her heart rate increased, a warning sign that she might faint. She revealed that her frequent trips outside the home were mostly to attend doctor's appointments or to participate in additional training sessions with Bailey. Katie had chosen not to share these details with David earlier because she did not want to add to his worries, especially since he was already working so hard. Upon learning this, David was overwhelmed with feelings of guilt and concern, which completely overshadowed any frustration he had previously felt towards her. He reassured Katie that her well-being was his utmost priority and committed to supporting her in every way possible, to make good on this promise. David cut back on his work hours and started accompanying Katie to every doctor's appointment. He also made it a point to educate himself about her medical condition to better recognize its signs and symptoms. As David learned more about the crucial role Bailey played in Katie's life, his appreciation for the dog deepened. He and Bailey quickly formed a close bond, united by their shared love for Katie. David was grateful that Bailey was there to look after Katie when he couldn't be. And it became a routine for Bailey to receive extra treats from David whenever he came home. This gesture was David's way of thanking the dog for his vigilance and care. Do you have any thoughts after hearing this story? Tell us in the comments section. Next to give you another story, let's continue to see it. When people first witnessed Augusto de Oliveira walking through the streets of Hyannis, Massachusetts, with his six German shepherds freely trotting by his side, their reaction was one of sheer amazement. The dogs marched in perfect harmony, without a single leash in sight, responding to their handlers' commands with military precision. Initially, onlookers were skeptical, wondering if Augusto had enforced a strict, possibly harsh training regimen to achieve such flawless obedience. However, as they delved deeper into his methods, their skepticism turned into admiration. Augusto, a youthful trainer in his twenties, had managed to foster a deep bond with his dogs, rooted in mutual respect and understanding rather than fear. Observers noted the synchronicity of the pack, each dog keenly attuned to Augusto's instructions and moving as one cohesive unit. This remarkable synchronization gave the illusion that they were connected by an invisible harness, reminiscent of a sled dog team. Onlookers, including seasoned dog owners and professional animal trainers, were mystified by this display. It was not just the lack of physical restraints that was striking, 
but the sheer discipline and order the dogs maintained, they did not vie for dominance or get distracted by external stimuli like other dogs barking or passersby. Their focus was solely on their pack and their leader. Augusto's daily walks through town parks and streets became a spectacle that drew crowds, with a simple gesture or verbal cue. He could arrange his dogs for a photograph or resume their walk in flawless formation. This young man and his well-trained German shepherds quickly became a local sensation, sparking curiosity and rumors among the community. Despite his growing fame, Augusto led a reclusive life, primarily interacting with his dogs and rarely seen with human companions. His secluded lifestyle fueled wild speculation and rumors with some neighbors and bystanders suspecting more sinister reasons behind his withdrawn nature. In the evenings, curious locals would linger outside his apartment, trying to catch a glimpse of his life behind closed curtains or overhear snippets of conversation, though they found little to substantiate their suspicions. Augusto's story is a testament to the extraordinary results of training based on respect and trust challenging traditional notions of canine obedience and showcasing the profound bond that can exist between humans and animals. Neighbors were puzzled by Augusto's ability to manage his pack of intimidating dogs, leading some to speculate he might be using abusive methods to maintain control. Their suspicions grew so intense that a few went as far as to sift through his trash, searching for any shred of evidence to support their theories. One particularly fervent neighbor, who was an avid animal rescue advocate, believed Augusto was employing electric shock collars. She became proactive, knocking on doors throughout the neighborhood to gather support for a petition demanding a formal investigation into what she suspected was cruel treatment. Augusto's secret of nature only served to amplify the rumors, while he occasionally shared that his dog training techniques required immense dedication and patience. He never divulged the specifics, preferring to keep his methods private. This reticence led to further speculation, despite his frequent assurances that mastering these techniques had been his life's work. Augusto had grown up surrounded by German shepherds, a breed known for their bravery and loyalty, which are traits that prompt them to protect their owners fiercely. It was clear that his dogs would defend him at any cost which only intensified the community's suspicions about the nature of their training. The local police eventually stepped in after receiving a formal complaint alleging animal abuse. If only the overly curious neighbors and the misinformed local community had taken the time to understand the true nature of Augusto's relationship with his dogs. This invasion of privacy could have been avoided. Augusto, originally from Massachusetts but raised in Brazil, spent his childhood immersed in the world of German shepherds on a Brazilian farm, where he developed a deep interest in animal behavior. This passion led him to spend countless hours observing and interacting with the dogs, eventually discovering his natural ability to influence their behavior positively. Upon entering Augusto's apartment, Law enforcement officials were taken aback by the unconventional yet peaceful life he led with his dogs. There were no signs of traditional dog kennels or pens. Instead, Griffin, Harmony, Jenna, Priscilla, Hannah, and Savannah all shared Augusto's bed, with every couch and carpet also open to his canine companions. It was evident that Augusto's life was wholly intertwined with his dogs, perplexed by the setup. The police called in animal behavior specialists who monitored Augusto and his dogs closely for several days. They meticulously examined every aspect of his interaction with the dogs, looking for signs of mistreatment or distress. When local authorities and animal rescue services were alerted to potential concerns regarding Augusto's treatment of his German shepherds, they conducted a thorough investigation into his handling and care of the dogs. Upon their visit, they meticulously examined his living arrangements for the animals. The findings of this detailed investigation were ultimately reassuring and dispelled all worries. Contrary to suspicions, there was no evidence of neglect or maltreatment. In fact, the conditions in which the German shepherds resided could best be described as a veritable canine paradise. The police and animal welfare organizations appreciated the community's vigilance in safeguarding the well-being of animals. Although, 
In this case, it turned out to be a misunderstanding. Augusto's dogs were not just well-treated, they were pampered, enjoying the highest quality food and care. The affection and attention they received were akin to that of cherished family members. Initially perturbed by the suspicions directed at him, Augusto later recognized a silver lining in the ordeal. This experience catalyzed a new professional path for him. Augusto founded Griffin Shepherd Kennels. Channeling his passion for dogs into a thriving business, he specialized in the meticulous training of dogs, particularly German Shepherds, to ensure they were exceptionally well-behaved and responsive to their owners. His facility quickly gained popularity, with many pet owners entrusting their young dogs to his expert care. After just a few weeks of training, owners were delighted to retrieve their pets. Now adept at adapting to various living environments, including cramped urban settings. Augusto's approach to training was somewhat secretive, but it was known that he established himself as a pack leader. This dynamic was achieved through intensive daily interactions, including feeding the dogs twice a day, allowing them to sleep in his room, and engaging in substantial exercise sessions, all reinforcing his leadership status. This close bond resulted in a disciplined and unified demeanor in the dogs evident to anyone who saw Augusto walking his pack, remarkably. Augusto managed to walk his six German shepherds without leashes through the streets of Hyannis and could control up to 15 unleashed dogs simultaneously without any issues. His skills were even showcased on the busy streets of Boston, where his dogs maintained their discipline amidst heightened noise in a drastically different environment. His unique methods not only built him an impressive reputation but also made him an internet sensation. Especially after the viral success of a video featuring his training techniques in 2013. What are your thoughts on encountering unleashed German shepherds in a busy street? What do you make of Augusto's training techniques? Share your opinions in the comments. That's all for today's story. Please subscribe and give a thumb up. See you next time.